my dad and grandfather were both professional soccer players for about 15 years each. Um, my mom was an Olympic swimmer. So I felt a lot of pressure to have to follow them and be like them. So they taught me to work really hard at everything I did. And firstly, I started playing soccer just because I wanted to be like my dad and grandfather. But they had me practicing like twice a day for like three, four hours at a time, really pushing me hard. So I didn't really like it just because they were making me, because they wanted me to be like them. They expected a lot from me. So then I took up swimming because I thought, it's got to be easier than practicing twice a day. So I worked at it, and I became the number one swimmer in the nation for my age group. But then I decided that I absolutely hated swimming. It's, it's not very fun swimming up and down the pool every day. Just, it gets boring. So then my grandmother spoke to me, and she told me to do something different to what everyone else in my family's done. So I started taking up basketball when I was about 15. I played my last two years in high school. And we finished school at 16 in England. So I played till I was about 16, nearly 17. And I got pretty good at it. And after high school, I was recruited to the number one basketball academy in Europe. And here's one of the t-shirts from it, just with the academy on. Um, I played there for about a year and a half. While I was there, I was invited to the um, national team tryouts with the Great Britain team, with the top 100 players in the country. And I was pretty proud to get invited. And I didn't think that I'd make the final team, but I ended up making the final squad and represented the country in the national championships in Turkey. And I was actually the captain for the one game and got to lead out the team with the national flag. Um, so that was a pretty proud moment, leading my team out. Um, after that, I didn't know what I was going to do next. And I actually received some professional contracts to play in Greece and Spain. But I didn't want to leave my family. I was like 16, 17. And I didn't fancy leaving the country at that age to go somewhere where they didn't speak any language that I understood. So I kept looking into it. And I managed to get a professional contract in England. So I played there for about a year and a half until I was about 18. And I decided that I wanted to go to college. But they don't really have college in England that has basketball and other sports. So I decided to come to America. I received some Division I and Division II basketball offers. But a week before I was meant to go, I was told that I couldn't go because I hadn't taken SAT test, which I didn't know what it was. I'd never heard of an SAT test before. So I looked into it, and I finally took it in the end. But I was too late to start school. I think the SAT test, I was in there for about nine hours, and they never gave me one break. So that, that kind of put me off a little bit. And I had a couple friends that lived down in San Diego in California. So I spoke to them. And they kind of helped me out with this school, because you don't have to have an SAT test for this school. They kind of just accept anyone. So, so like I got all my I got all, I got all my paperwork sorted, and that's how I ended up here. Thank you.